Yes, driving a fast car is fun, but you know what's better? Being on the road with the wind blowing through your hair and being one with the road. So now, let's look at all of the two wheelers in this motorcycle section of Malaysia Auto Show 2023. Right off the bat, CF Moto is here. CF stands for uh, a name in China, the name of the place where CF Moto was first. Uh, conceived. I can't remember what exactly the name is but its initials are CF. So CF has been making quite good progress in Malaysia as of late. They have introduced quite, uh, I would say, yummy selections of bikes. For example, this is the CF Moto, I think 650cc and this one, I have tested it once. It has this switch or setting for sport mode whereby when you activate it, the exhaust sound becomes a bit louder. It's a twin cylinder by the way. So as you can see, although being a brand from China and being relatively a newcomer in the motorcycle arena, CF Moto is garnering quite good attention. This is the 800MT, so 800cc now of course. 650MT and 650GT. This one doesn't look too bad honestly. The eyes remind me of a Yamaha MT10, uh, one generation behind. I think it's the 2015 model. Very nice. This is nice though. I quite like it. It also reminds me of the Yamaha XJ6 Diversion. You know that 600cc inline four motorcycle? Very nice. Okay, this one has a bit more touring to it. The bars are slightly higher. Nampak macam Versys 300X pun ada. So let's go and explore CF Motors booth for a while. There seems to be some sort of game over here. Okay, I have to be careful what I film here. I don't want to be caught filming the wrong thing. So this is the 700 CLX. This is a naked bike. It looks like a cafe racer, is it? No, not a cafe racer. Tak berapa pandai. Sport Classic. Sport Classic, okay. This one is a 700 CRX Sport. Okay. Well, that one is the Adventure version. I see. And that will be the Heritage. I see. So, uh, okay. So, how many CCs does this have? Obviously, 700 lah, again. <laughs> All these three will be 700. If for newbie, they want a class like this Classic, will be that CLX 250. Okay, so we'll have a look at it later. So, 700cc, parallel twin, how many horsepower? This one horsepower, uh, actually, you can straight away scan by here. Ah, ah, see, we're in 2023. Everything has a QR code, later I'll scan. <laughs> but for 700cc, parallel twin, yeah, I would say... Mostly will be like, maybe about like 660 of them. I see, okay. Good enough though, good enough. And I love... Can, can we step on here? Okay. And I... Oh, really? Okay. Let's see. And I really love these blue accents which are found throughout the range. Nice headlamps too. Okay, obviously a one-seater. So, uh, my wife uh, would not be afraid of me being unfaithful. <laughs> okay, look at this handlebar with its classic heritage round dial for the meter. So, this is a sporty one. This is a touring one. As you can see, the tires are blockier in nature. Blocky. This is for sport. It's more slick. And I love the end can though. Nampak macam SC Project punya exhaust. Okay, I have to again be careful what I'm filming here. Nanti orang salah faham. Aduh, macam-macam. Okay. Now, besides that, we also have the Sport Bike Arena, the 450 SR. See, as I've told you, CF Moto has nice designs. It's very rare that you find a turquoise plus white bike. I love it. 250 SR. This one looks a bit like... I don't know, but, but it looks like something which is currently on the market right now. 450 SR. Looking good though, seriously, I like it. I mean, obviously for one person, 450cc and 
the fairings look quite gemuk so it doesn't really look like a beginner bike although 450 cc is considered a beginner bike it has these fins macam ducati panigale v4r and i wonder what size tire or 150 so it's yeah slightly larger usually kalau 250 cc pakai 14 ni 450 pakai 15 okey lah tu okey as the staff had said earlier clx would be the beginner line of motorcycles from cf moto okay so it looks like cf moto has turquoise as its official color good choice though because all the other colors are taken kan biru sudah pergi kat yamaha dengan suzuki merah pergi kat ducati dengan honda and all that so they have chosen turquoise as their color very nice good job cf moto now let's move on to the booth next to it suzuki the other day, I saw a Suzuki GSXR 1000R zoom past me on NKVE. Gila shahdu bunyi dia. Okay, let's go from the start lah. This is the Suzuki Raider. I think it was called the Suzuki Belang or something last time kan? Saya pun tak ingat. Kalau salah, tolong betulkan saya di bahagian komen. GSX... G... Aduh, eh, tongue twister betul. GSXS 150. So, when you see an S at the end it means it's a naked bike and when you see R GSXR it's a fully fat bike like this one so this is the 150cc version of Suzuki's bike apa macam bro GSXR 150 ada minat ke ada niat nak ambil ok buang masa ni pakai motor apa bang Ah, tapi ni ada fairing cantik lah Okay bang, semoga murah rezeki Boleh beli satu InsyaAllah There you go I was once in their shoes Previously You know, nak motor Berminat Tapi tak ada kemampuan lagi kan So, semoga lah anda yang Berminat untuk memiliki motor-motor besar macam ni InsyaAllah satu hari nanti This is the V-Strom Which is a 650cc uh, V-Twin V-Strom this is Suzuki Katana 1000cc uh, It has a very long lineage from the 1980s right up to now 1000cc Katana And right behind the Katana is the Suzuki GSXS 1000 Again, I gotta be careful of what I'm filming This is the GSXS 1000 So, S means it's a naked model While R is the fully fat model this bike was the one that passed me on NKVE the other day so last time I used to hate this Cyclops uh, mata satu punya headlamp tapi now bila tengok balik lawa juga sebenarnya biasalah dah tua sikit kot kan GS XR 1000R ataupun Jigsaw 1000 so this obviously has around 180 horsepower and above now, the granddaddy of fast bikes. You know, I think many years ago, in the late 90s, Suzuki came up with this, Suzuki Hayabusa. Hayabusa comes from the name of a very fast flying bird in Japan. It had 1,300cc uh, with four cylinders and nearly 200 horsepower. This bike was one of the fastest bikes in the world at that time and no one could beat it. There you go, Suzuki Hayabusa. And speaking of fast bikes, I saw a Yamaha R1M when I was entering this hall just now. Dia pak tepi sekali dengan kat saya lain. Saya ingat R15M. Bila tengok balik lah, double disc, tayar 200. Memang dia lah. Okay. What is this? This is a Suzuki V-Strom as well. But 1050cc. So this is the big daddy of the V-Strom 650 we saw earlier. Ah, nampak Suzuki Hayabusa Okay What is this? Raider Okay, we saw one earlier So that's it from Suzuki Now, before we move on Let's go to the side Of CF Motors booth Where we see Accessories Guys, must I remind you That if you are riding bikes Especially those with Tons of horsepower, 
1000 cc and all please please at least wear shoes lah please please at least wear long pants lah you know road rash is serious guys once you fall it doesn't matter if you fall from a vespa or a super bike it hurts all the same so please protect your skin and buy good protective equipment as you can see these look like jackets but these are actually riding jackets there are paddings inside here there nampak macam jacket but it's actually a padded jacket and please don't try to be cool only and wear black colors like this are very helpful to help other people see you especially now when it's always raining you need to be seen okay some more protective padded jackets over here oh hjc is here nice full suit nah ini kalau betul-betul nak pergi track lah these suits are made of cow hide very thick because leather is resistant to road rash it protects you very well and suits like this can cost what thousands of ringgit because it's tailored according to you to limit your movements so if you are serious about the track that in tula you will get one of these hello what are you looking for over here you ride bikes <laughs> okay a lady biker is always cool i'm sure she'll grow up to be a responsible one so hjc helmets hjc hails from south korea i have one cs15 uh, I quite like it, but the wind noise is a bit too loud when I'm riding, so uh, I need a quieter helmet. I've been looking at the FG Jet or the R4 10 or 11, so hopefully one day lah. Aliens. Okay, what else do we have? We have a few bikes over here from KTM. KTM is from Austria, kan? Kalau tak silap saya. Good Czech Republic. Lupa dah. Lama tak telak ha, pasal motor ni. But KTM's have always had this very nice orange hue to it which I really love. And their designs are unusual. So we have the Duke 200, Duke 250 and Duke 790. Moving on to the other side, more KTM bikes. This is the 890 Adventure. Three ninety something, I'm not too sure. And three hundred EXC. Wow, a dirt bike or a trail bike. Chun. I used to love these bikes when I was in primary six. I thought they looked cool. Tapi sekarang ni nak sport bike lah. Atau pun mungkin touring bike. Sebab ya lah kan. Tak lah sakit belakang. Okay, and mittens. I especially love this gauntlet style gloves because they protect up to your wrist you know and when you are buying if possible look for one which have hard palm sliders like these or like these because when you fall the first thing you're going to do is you're going to reach out with your palm and you don't want to hurt your palm over here so the palm slider will make you slide on the road instead of catch because when it catches you might break your wrist okay the next one would be a vita i nearly said ativa just now my bad vx vadv 150 oh i was nearly confused i nearly read it as xadv 150 which is from honda and the design looks the same too look at that anyway i've never heard of a vita before so it's quite interesting to go in okay this head reminds me of the kawasaki uh, z1000 of 2015 it has this alien-esque eyes here uh, going inside wow this is an interesting looking thing ranger max i think these are suited to delivery jobs because the seat and the surface for the metal box is separated so this is obviously a utilitarian bike nice w moto so you have seen cf moto now it's w moto i wonder what's next okay w moto seems to have quite nice designs ah 
Motor Park G <laughs> Oh World War 2 punya motor German punya kan Okay XDV 250i From W Motor With Spider-Man on it With great power comes great responsibility This is a cup classic Ah, This looks very chomel Nampak macam Old school, old school sikit Let's go inside W Moto, yeah? I'm just randomly walking around, guys, so don't expect any structure from me. Okay, more scooters. You see, there are so many scooters on offer nowadays because manufacturers have realized that the roads are becoming increasingly congested, especially after MCO, where suddenly everyone had cars and, you know, the roads are full of cars. So now, the motorcycle is becoming one of the most popular modes of transportation. Okay, these seem to be some accessories. We'll come to them later. We will cover the vehicles first. There's a BMW GS over here. Oh, these are manufacturers of aluminium cases. Very important if you go on an adventure. Aha! Yamaha T-Max 560! Damn! This is the 2020 model. As you can see, it has this nose and separated eyes. Yamaha T-Max 560. One of my favorite scooters too. Uh, I have test ridden one of these. I think last year. Very powerful. 560cc. Okay, these are... Royal Enfield Bikes ah, Kepada peminat cerita Tamil Memang biasalah tengok motor-motor ni Sebab Inspector Polis Selalu suka naik Royal Enfield Bila buat rondaan Jom Hunter 350 Royal Enfield And I have to say These bikes look Classic And timeless you know, some may argue that this kind of halogen uh, refractor headlamps are quite outdated, but it fits the character of the bike very nicely. Royal Enfield. Own one of these, you don't have to try hard to look cool. You already look cool just by owning it. So, Royal Enfield. Okay, I think it's time to drop by Modena's booth. There are so many bikes on display. Oh, before that, Aprilia. Not forgetting, this is the Aprilia RS660. I test rode this bike two years ago. It's basically half of the engine of the Aprilia RS V4. So it's, a, it's the two front cylinders of the V-twin. It's a parallel twin, but with a cross-plane crankshaft, if I'm not mistaken. Lah. And this is the Aprilia Tuono 660, which is basically the touring version of the RS. Yeah. Vespa's making a comeback. Hmm, I was hoping for an Aprilia RS V4 or Tuono 1000. Ha <laughs> Oh, bukan. This is Aprilia's 200cc scooter. Aprilia SRGT. So, this or the Honda Forza 250 or the Yamaha X Max 250? You tell me. Okay, enough talking. Let's go on to Modena's booth where I heard there is a very special motorcycle on display for today. That's it. So, as you know, Modena's has had a collaboration with Kawasaki. Okay, let's go from the side. These are all the day-to-day -day bikes. Chris 110. I love one of these, you know. And the Chris MR3 as well, kalau ada kat sini. Charisma. This is the Elegant Scooter. Oh yes, this is also going head-to-head -head with the SRGT you saw earlier. What is this? Modena's Vulcan. Ah, this is obviously from the Kawasaki Vulcan. This one has 650cc and parallel twin. So this is actually a Kawasaki Vulcan. 
Okay, Kawasaki Versys and oh yes, Versys 1000. I always love the Versys 1000. It's an awesome bike, man. And if you read reviews of bikes comparing the Versys to other makes such as the BMW S1000XR or something, the Versys always comes out at the first or second positions. It is obviously a very versatile bike. Okay, the engine is shared among the Versys 1000, the Kawasaki Z1000SX and Kawasaki Z1000. Now let's go in the Lorong Lorong of Modenas. Okay, this is obviously Kawasaki Z250 but of course sold by Modenas. Z900RS. Z900RS is basically a Kawasaki Z900 but with a retro kind of design. It's the same bike. This one is the Kawasaki ZH2. Tengok Supercharger dah tahu dah. <laughs> ZH2 SE. Hmm, it's an SE trim. Dominar 250. Dominar 400. This is also one very versatile bike. The engine is big enough to take you on day-to-day -day trips and it doesn't run out, run out of power that easily. Yoshimura exhaust on the Kawasaki Ninja Z... Oh no, this is the Ninja 250. Saya ingatkan ZX25R. Okay, tak apa. Let's go around. What is this? Ah, this is it. The Kawasaki ZX25R. 250cc in line 4. Buni Shahdu. It was first uh, sold in Indonesia. So if you have interest in this bike, kena tengok video-video dari negara kita, negara kawan kita dari seberang lah. ZX25R memang sedap bunyi. Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Guys, that is a Kawasaki Z1000SX new model. This is I think 2017 and above. My god, this is my dream bike. Honestly, aside from the Yamaha R1, this would be number 2. 1000 cc comfortable. Right. And it looks good. Look at that. This is the ZX Pen R. Redesigned. Sorry if you can't hear me. The MC is quite loud. As he should be. Wow, wow, wow. I'm excited, man. I'm gonna sit on the Z1000SX later. I've been wanting to see this bike for the longest time. Because I don't really like the 2011 model. It looks a bit outdated. But this is beautiful, man. 